All right, we're joined with Coach Owino of the Summer Creek Lady Bulldogs. Coach, uh, can you just fill us in on how the season's going so far? Yeah, this is our first game of the season. So we really started uh, well. I like what I saw. We've got lots of new girls. Almost three quarters of the team are new girls. And uh, I'm impressed. I have a 15-year-old who just scored the first goal on a, on a debut. And I was very, very happy. Not too shabby, not too yeah. shabby at all. Yeah. So uh, looking in from last season's team into this season's team and seeing the difference, uh, what can you tell us about the camaraderie of these girls and how they're gelling together so far? Yes, yeah, the girls are doing well. It's, it, it, uh, we practice over the entire break, except for seven days only. Over the entire break, the whole year, that's the only time we didn't practice. And uh, the girls have come together a long way. And uh, I'm happy that I'm seeing, that understanding that it's a team concept. And we, although we have a lot of new girls that gel together with the older girls and they're learning and they're seeing and we have very few seniors. Majority of them are juniors and sophomores and lots of freshmen. So I'm happy with what I'm seeing so far. Well, that's good to hear, Coach. Well, let's jump into district a little bit. 21-6A, uh, you know how tough it can be with Kingwood. And, uh, of course, uh, everybody in Humble ISD and a task to see it as well. Well, now you jump with the North Shore teams and, and whatnot. So how do you see yourself and the girls stacking up in district this year? No, this year, really, we should be able to make the playoffs. Because last year's the district we were in was way tougher. We were playing all the northern schools. And, honestly, we were the weakest in the district. But this year... When they took off all the other teams, we only have Kingwood, Atascosera, and uh, K-Park. Those are the only schools we have from the former teams. So we are playing Baytown, North Shore, way easier. Yeah, those are a better opposition for us. <laughs> well, uh, I guess if you did mention playoffs, but if you had just a, a goal in particular that you wanted to accomplish with the girls this season, what would you say it would be? It's not only to make the playoffs, but to have as many players recognized by colleges. The, let, this year we had our first college sign-up ever since I came to this school. And this year I'm expecting to see three or four more picked up to go and play at, to be further soccer in college, okay. apart from winning the district, yeah. Well said. Uh, I guess well, my last question I have for you, the Panther, or the Humble ISD Cup here at uh, Turner Stadium, uh, the competition that you've seen so far or that, that you know that you're going to see in the future? I mean, how do you think you and the girls stack up in this tournament? Yeah, this tournament is possible for us to make the final or at least the semifinals from what I'm seeing. Because last year we didn't win a single game in the tournament. They needed the previous year. But to, uh, we are, this year we started with a win, and I'm hopeful that the next opponent we're going to get, at least we're going to be able to put up a competition. I have more girls, the biggest number ever I've had. Last year we had two substitutes on the bench, 14 girls, some games 12 girls. So it was very hard. But this year I'm expecting us to go further in the tournament. Good to hear, coach. I hope my predictions come true. <laughs> we'll wait and see, right? Well, Coach, thanks so much for your time. Good luck the rest of the season. Okay, thank you. Thank pleasure, you. pleasure, pleasure, Coach. Okay,